Luxembourg. And Christopher Luxon. Is it Luxon? It's quite a place. Hotel. Oh, oh look at that. This one, it's a good size freshwater coda there. Pickle pickle from there. Hello everybody. Greetings to you all. Hey guys, we're going. Just here with my daughter. We're heading off to Rotorua and going there for a bit of a, a night coda gathering at one of the lakes in Rotorua. I'm ah. going to drop my daughter off and her mum, who's over here for a conference for three nights. I'm going to drop my daughter off and then we're going to hang around for a little bit and we're going to go coda hunting later on tonight. Fakatani rivers are all. Paru dirty as so you can't do any white baiting or anything. It's just dirty river from all that water we had. That water is brown like soup. Mud soup. That is the old mud soup. This is our first coda hunt for quite a while actually, for over a year. And hopefully we get some coda, freshwater crayfish tonight. Anyway, so uh, having a nice safe drive. If you're trying to avoid all the potholes on the road, there are potholes everywhere after all this rain. Huge potholes. So we'll catch you guys a bit later on when we reach Rotorua in the hotel room. Okay. Right, so here we are in Rotorua. Beautiful afternoon. We're just driving through one of the main streets here, Rotorua. Head into the motel. I thought it was a hotel. It's a hotel. It's hotel. And here we are. Lovely afternoon here in Rotorua. So we're down towards the lake there, and then the hotel is on the left somewhere. Down by the waterfront. What's the hotel called? I don't know. What? Right, so here we are, down by the lakefront. I'm just going to park over here for a little bit and we have a message Neve's mum we're going to find out what's going on I think we're staying here all paid for it's a beautiful day here there's a park over there look right so here's my uh, here's my chip basket from Aliexpress and I just had to go and buy some hose clamps to clamp this on to my broomstick and this is going to be our coda catching pot Aliexpress bought it ages ago and can use it for the first time tonight there's my bucket and stuff there got my waders in here some long pens as well later on there you go all done all ready to go and slay us some some coda okay Nice. Oh, yeah. I've got a rope up the upstairs. There's some little hot pools, so little round things. Yeah. 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 Fresh. This is quite a fresh one, Erin. What? You bring your bed out here then. Oh, this is quite a fresh motel. 310. Now, where's all the wine bottles? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. it's quite a flash. It's quite a flash. No. Motel? Yeah. Flash Hotel? Home. Here we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm parked down here. 
Oh yeah. To yeah. get to get to this park, oh, don't are. drive in over there. If you drive around the back or come around this other side, and then you follow the arrow. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to take my daughter down to get some food for her, and then I can get out there in that darkness hopefully soon. Oh, get some darkness. It's actually quite cold. You can see I'm dressed up for the city. Dressed up in the old gum boots. See? Pants yeah. tucked over the gum boots to blend in with the locals here. Is that Mama there? Where's your friend Medina? Oh, she is. He's up down there. He's Erin down there with her new friend. Oh, she's got two friends. Got and Christopher friends. Luxon. Is that Luxon? <laughs> Where's Luxon? Hello, Mr. Luxon. Uh, oh, Erin's driving. <laughs> oh no. Don't trust her to drive that car. Please, guys. Two. Got six in the little Ford Focus. Whatever it is. Right, let's go. Get my daughter some taco bells and then do what I I'm here for. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, let's go. Hang on. Oh, it's going to be cold tonight, alright? Oh. Alright, here we are. Is it RZ? It is two, look. Twins. It's got center plate, similar number plate. Right, you're going to get your Kai. We got Taco Bells here for old Neve. And I will just get to back up into this car park here. And we can get back up into here. I'm not hungry though, I eat that sort of food. Chicken burger. Before I get out. Look at that, my first bigger fuel. Oh, oh look at that. Okay. He's just got bacon and cheese in here apparently. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Yum. I've got bacon too. Burger with two hands. Energy for getting coda. So right, I'm just gonna drop my daughter off back at the hotel. What's the motel? Got that over there. And I'll wait up here till you go in, eh? So, so that's our or Neve's motel over there. Oh, there's my darling daughter going up to the motel. Let's make sure she goes into the doorway. She's got a key there, spare key, so she'll be alright. Let's just double check. It's quite a fresh hotel, this one. There she goes. Let's just head into our spot. Looking for him been here for ages. So I can't see much at all here, so I'm just gonna be very be very quick with this light. I can't see anything in front of me. Right, so here we are at our spot. It's gonna get into the bottom here and we're gonna check it out and see if there's any coder in here. So let's go and have a look, shall we? I see how the water is. Oh, look at that. A bit of a. Oh, it's a little stream here now. Might be some watercress up there. Alright. We'll uh, get back to you guys when we get down to the water. We're nearly there. Look at the old lake, lake sand. Right, so here we are, we had our spot here for our freshwater coda. The lake's just here, so he's going to get in here. We're going to turn this light around so I can see what's going on. But we're at the lake. Just going to have a look, to see if we can find any coda. Haven't been here for about, probably, maybe three years. So hopefully we'll get some tonight. Unfortunately, I can't put this camera in the water because it has a leaky 
on off button the rubber's broken on it so I can't put this camera underwater so hopefully we'll get some footage for you anyway okay let's have a look here we are the water's a bit dirty but you can still see it right it's quite deep actually too it's quite deep the water here now yeah. but it's clean so let's just have a look if you can see any Again, this way we can't go as far as we normally do here. It's just so much rain, and the water is quite dirty. And it's hard to see that water. Let's get a bit closer in. So I'm using two lights. Let's see if we can spot them. Yeah, that water is pretty hard to see. I thought, oh, thought it would be a bit dirty, but I thought it might have been cleaner than this. I've seen none so far. Oh, it's quite deep over here actually, I can't used to be able to walk around this way, but I'm going to have to go through another way. i to go through here I think. Well, I've seen none so far. I found my first coda. It's right down here. The water is so dirty. I can't even see it now. It's right in front of me. I can't see it. It's just in front of my my thing here. Oh, I missed it. Okay. It's gone. Here is a nice size one too. Where's he going? There he is. I still missed him. It's, I can't hardly see him. It's so hard to see. I'm gonna get him. Oh, I can't. This buddy, this thing's a bugger to use. I'm gonna have to. Oh, there he is. Oh, this, I'm not used to this, um, I can hardly see him. He's right there, look. I'm going to have to put my bucket down so I can see him properly. Oh, bucket. Still missed him. Got it. Finally, we got one. Now this bucket's going to have to go up here, but I can't. It took a while. Um, it took a while to get the first one. Let's have a look at it, make sure it's got no berries. Yeah, it's got berries, look. So we've got to let her go. First coda, and she's got berries, so we'll let her go. So we can see you go away. There she is. Right. One coda and then berry. We got one. I was going to have a bit of a break and then come try again. I've already done a, a big loop of this area to see just one. See, they're out deeper, but the water's too deep. It's getting too murky out here. I can hardly see. But this is where they will be. Way up a bit deeper, but not to here. And look, a bit of water. This way. Where is it going? Oh man, it's lost it. The water's so dirty. 
did it go? Go on, Lee, hopefully I can get it. I'm not very big on this bimmin. This net very much. It's not working for me. It's just down here. I don't... Where is he? Back up. Where is he gone? I missed that one too. Back there it. Hard work. What's this one? Let's check this one out. Let's see if it's got any berries. Let's have a look. Oh, that one's alright. Look, you've got a keeper, my friends. You've got a keeper. No berries on that one. Go back to our bucket. There you go. First coda. So they're probably coming out now. There we go, our first one. First one. Not a big one. But first coda here in our spot. Another one's there, look, that's a nice one. Just got another one. It's not a big one, but we'll keep them anyway. I'll just bent my basket a bit, make my basket a bit flatter rather than round. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, number two. Right, they're coming out. I've done about four sweeps off the speed chair and I've only found two. Missed about three. I'm not quite used to this stupid chip basket here. I missed my butterfly net. It's four sweeps for two and they probably will be start coming out. So we're just going to go back around the other side over here. We haven't been there for a little while so we'll just try there again. And then we'll do a few more sweeps along here and hopefully we'll get some that are going to come out and want to get into my chip basket. But it's not working as well as my other net. I prefer my butterfly net. It's crappier and it works. Right. Just gonna get our bucket. We'll go over there. Right, so sorry you guys couldn't see me get that one out, but it was just so muddy. I've got the biggest one out of there so far. We're just gonna see if it's uh, alright to take. A nice, nice coat of here. Let's check it out. See if it is all right to take. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a good eating one. Here we are. That's a nice coat of. There we go. So we'll take him as well. It's a good size one. Here we go, Mr. Coda. You can go back in there and we'll put you in the bucket. Here we go, you can join your mates over there. Here we go. Nice. 
right, we'll go around the corner. We'll try there again. I think I found a nice one there. Let's try. Let's see if we can get this one on camera. Not easy with this net. There he is. Isn't it? So unfortunately my light's going, um, both lights are going so I'm not going to stay too long but I just managed to get another one. That's four. I'm going to throw this little one back. There we go. I'm going to just keep these three here. My light is buggered, I can't see anything. Both my lights are gone. Headlight and the one bit. So here are our freshwater coda. They've been sleeping in here overnight. I've got them chilled in the fridge and they are nice and chilled. They want to sleep. There's three there. We'll just get them out and show you guys. We're going to be cooking these in boiling water. So it's best humanely is to let them go to sleep. It's way better, apparently. So I don't feel the pain. So there's our Two coda there, we've got one more here, fast asleep. Here chilled out nicely. And there's our three coda. We're gonna have a taste test off today. There they are, we're gonna put these into boiling water. And we're gonna be eating those with we're gonna do a taste test of my lemon and dill pickle pickle, which has been in this jar for about two weeks. So we're going to give this a bit of a taste test as well. First time tasting this, this pickled pickle pickle. We're going to have that with these coda here. So I thought that will be a nice combination to have today for our meal. What do you guys think? Well, these guys probably don't want to be eaten, but... Hey, Baba! You can look away or just fast forward it a few minutes. It's going to add this coat to the water. One, two, they died pretty quickly. Don't worry about that. Last one, three. There we go. There it is. Mmm, they smell delicious. We're going to turn that off. They are cooked. I'm just going to drain them, I'll let them cool for a few minutes before we have a bit of a old taste test. Here we go. They smell delicious. Here we go. Just cool, just like you would with big crayfish. Check those out. They look nice. Who likes eating coda? Have we actually you people tried coda? You like them? Mmm, so that was quite a hard gather last night. As you'll see in the video, I stuffed it up big time gathering these little buggers. Right, we'll come back in a few minutes. I'm actually gonna put them in the fridge. Get them chill a bit quicker. And we're gonna have a taste test soon. Last night wasn't a very good gathering night at all. Didn't have much fun on that one. A few things I didn't do right, and if I had done those properly, I would have maybe got a few more coda. I really stuffed that up. Number one, my coda basket was too small. I couldn't get those coda, as you would see in this footage. I missed out on about four or five, maybe six coda that I should have got. If I'd had my $2 butterfly net from the $2 shop, I would have caught those coda, but that little chip basket was a bit too small to catch those coda and I couldn't scoop them up very well. When I bought it on AliExpress, I thought it was going to actually be a bit bigger than that. The basket wasn't the 
chip basket that I, that I wanted. So I would have done way better if I had put my butterfly net, my cheap butterfly net from the $2 shop. Second reason was we have had heaps of rain the last couple of weeks and I hummed and hard about going over to Rotorua to look for a coda because I would have thought that the water was going to be a little bit dirty, a little bit hard to see in and it was. There are a lot of creeks and little streams that run off the hills into that lake that I was at last night and that would have caused the water to be a bit more murky than I would have liked. The third reason was that my lights went flat. I had my camera light that went flat and I had my head torch light which also went flat which meant I couldn't see the coda very well and had the last 25 minutes I couldn't see bugger all so and the other reason was a lot of kids turned up with their parents they came down and they were uh, walking around behind me and around me trying to catch coda as well so you'll see in their video how I had missed out on probably four that I'd filmed I couldn't catch them so there's our delicious coda. We're going to have a bit of a taste test of those. Check those out. Delicious, yummy coda. Got three of them there. Been chilling in the fridge for about an hour or so, so they'll be nice and chilled. So we're going to be eating that with our delicious lemon dill or pickle pickle there, which hasn't been opened yet. So we're going to open up this jar and have a bit of a taste test of that. It's been two weeks in this jar so it should taste really nice now so let's open it up oh man it's, i'm gonna have to try and pop it like this oh, pop the lid here we go pop the seal let's open it up you ready oh, let's have a smell first mm. straight away i can smell the dill Actually, that liquid is nice and dilly. Let's see what the taste is of that, shall we? So these are just the offcuts from the pickle pickle that I had left over. I thought I'd make up a couple more jars. Mmm. Well, wow. I've got garlic in here and lemon and dill out of my garden. So that is actually very tasty, my friends. It's really nice. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is really nice. I could sell that. All right. Let's try one here with a front on. I've got a front one here. Look at that. There's a front one. Actually, these are all the ends. There's a bit of a front one there. We'll get that out. That is really nice. Yum. Mmm. Well, I give that a 10 out of 10. That is so flavoursome. Wow. That is exactly how I planned it to taste like. You can have a, it's got a bit of a slight lemony flavour to it as well. But these are really nice. Exactly how I wanted to do it. I wanted to have a bit of a crunch on it. Yeah. That is nice. Not soggy. Not soggy like canned asparagus. Mmm. Yum. That is really nice. Yeah. There's a nice one here with a bit of front on it. So we'll just grab that just to show you guys. Oop, dropped it. So here we have it. Let's focus on that. There's a lovely piece of pickle pickle from there. Which we're going to have a bit of a taste test of that for you guys. Mmm, yum. That is, that is really nice. And deal to my garden and the lemon from a huge lemon tree out there. It is so huge. So there's a bit more here. So yeah, these are all the ends of the pickle pickle that I've broken off and the leftovers. Now for the star of the show, these coda are exactly like eating prawns, as long as you salt the water up. And we're gonna pull the tail off here. So you've got to have salty water. 
definitely have salty water in your, in your uh, water. Otherwise, you'll be a bit bland. You just peel the shell back, just like that. And get the towel out. Put that up there. So here we have our delicious little uh, towel there. It's a delicious little coated towel. It looks just like a prawn towel. Okay, let's have a taste test of that. All right. Pickle out here. Just need to focus there. Check that one out. Mm. So I don't want to waste these. The little tail, get all this lovely head here. We're just going to suck out all the lovely goodness in this head. Like this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Got a little bit tail set. Just got a small tail of that one. More, but it's gonna be delicious. Alright, so you just pull it off like that. It's got a bit of the old poop sack in there. You can just pull that poop sack out if you want to. Or if you're like me, probably just eat it. And we'll get a little bit of pickle pickle out of the jar. Last one here, last little taste test for you guys. Pull that out. But they are so sweet. And that is a great combination, lemon dill. I should have made more lemon dill in the jars and it would be awesome to have with like smoked fish, um, any sort of seafood. It would be so tasty with it. We're going to eat that with a little bit more of our pickle pickle. And we're going to have that with this tail. So eat those two together. Coda and pickle pickle. Who would have thought? A couple more here. We've got a little bit of meat in the claws, but not much really. If you want to be a Momo Kai, you can just suck that out. So there you go my friends, that is the end of this little taste test here, that, is, that didn't last long did it? Didn't last long at all. All finished. I enjoyed doing this trip, it was a good trip. That is so good, I'm really enjoying this. Lemon and dill. It doesn't get any better than that. So thanks for watching and hope it inspires you guys to get out there and do stuff like this. Go and gather some coda or other stuff and go and pick your pickle pickle and pickle it. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy out there and we'll catch you later. See ya. Yeah. Infinite 11 out of 10 my friends. Catch you later. Bye. So the oh, so it's a bit too low.